everybody, this is Leslie. I'm here at the Riverton Nettle store and I'm going to show you today how to make a little baby blanket that's a self-binding blanket. It's really very easy to do. Few steps to it and you will have this awesome little blanket that looks something like this. So what you want to do first of all is to find two pieces of flannel that are somewhat coordinated. So, so because one will be the inside and one will be the outside. And for the inside piece, you want 7 eighths of a yard. For the outside piece, you want to get a yard and an eighth of fabric. Because this, each piece needs to be, this, this piece needs to be about 10 inches bigger than this piece. So, so we're going to actually cut this down so that it's 30 inches square. And this will actually be a 40 inch square. So I'm going to show you how to, what you need to do. So, so basically this is the, the fabric. I actually cut the selvages off. And so you'd want to do that. The very first thing is cut your selvages off and then measure 40 inches. So this, I've measured this and this is 40 inches, but you can see, and I think it's 40 inches this way as well. Cause I, I've already prepped this particular piece. So I'm going to set that aside for the moment and I'm going to show you this piece because this one was my, was going to end up being my um, 30 inch piece. And so right now I have it right at 30 inches, but you, if I open this up, this is going to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to square this up so that it's 30 inches. So you're going to take this and fold it on the diagonal, just like that. And so if it's folded on the diagonal, then I know that this is 30 inches. So then I'm going to take my ruler and then I'm just going to cut off this excess right here. And if you're, if you want to make sure you're on 45 degree angles, you can actually find that on your ruler right here. So then I'm going to cut this off, trim this, trim this down. So and then you can do whatever you want with that. So now I know I have a 30 inch square and now I have my 40 inch square. And you can see as I lay these out here. So this is my 40 inch square and you can see that this is my inside piece. And this is, you see how, how much bigger this piece is. So, What's going to happen is we're going to sew this such that this is going to actually wrap around to the each side, which cr will create that um, that flange or that that large binding. So after you have all of your pieces together, you want to find the middle of each of your squares. So that's what I'm going to do next. I've already marked the, the middle of this one. So I know the middle is here. Of, of my big square and so now I'm going to find the middle of my smaller square so with each side I'm going to come here kind of finger press it a little bit so that I can then mark that center and I'm going to do that with each side just mark the center After I get that done, what I'm going to need to do also next to this piece, you don't need to do that, this, what I'm going to do next, you don't have to do it as a big piece. Um, you're going to need to find right here, you see I've marked right here, this dot. And this is actually a quarter inch, if, you, if I put my ruler down, you'll see that this is a quarter inch seam here and a quarter seam here because we're going to sew this right to this dot right here. So I'll show you on this piece right here how I did that. So I laid my ruler down and let's see if I can find a better quarter inch mark. There you go. See here I've I found my quarter inch mark here and here and I'm putting a dot right there. All right, so I've done that to each one of my corners. I guess I didn't do it to that corner. Right to the 
this corner too. So you need it on all four corners. So now that you have, now that we have that done, What you're gonna do is you will now right sides together. You are actually gonna pin this where you match your center lines. So we're gonna match this, put a pin there. And I'm gonna to come to this side, match this line, put a pin there. And then each one of your four sides, you're going to do that. So, match there. And my final side here. So when you go to sew this, because you're gonna now sew a quarter inch seam, you'll see that this piece will go to here. And then if we did this side, we'll sew this side. And you should end up with what I'm gonna call little rabbit ears right there. So you'll do that on all four sides, you'll pin this around all four sides. Now, what you're gonna do is you're now gonna go sew a quarter inch, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna stop right there at that point. You're not gonna sew all the way to the edge. Both of your seams will hit right at that point. And you'll do that all to four sides. On one side, you wanna leave it open because you're gonna need to turn this inside out. So one side you wanna leave maybe a six inch opening. So when you've done that, when you've sewed all the way around it, it should look something like this. And the thing that I've done, in the past I've sewn it from point to point, but kind of gets a little bit off. So what I've started to do is I've taken, taken it from the middle, sewed it to that point, and middle, sew it to this point. So that way you get it gets even all the way around. So once it looks like this, you have all your little rabbit ears, now what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna take our little piece and we're gonna lay it out on our cutting table so that we match these two seams. So as we match those seams, and you can kind of feel it, as you, yeah, see there, there it is, they're matched. You lay it out and you, you want this to be at a 45 degree angle of your seam. So then you're gonna lay your ruler on it. And if you wanna put your ruler with the 45 degree angle right on the seam, it should follow this line. See? And you're going to mark this line right here with your pencil. And it should start right at that point, right there should start, put your needle down right there, sew along there, and then, so we're gonna sew this, um, and you'll do that to four, each of your four corners. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, mark all of my corners, then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine, and I'm going to sew this, and as soon as we sew this, I'll be back and show you the finish. Here I am at the sewing machine, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take my needle, and put it down right where I want it to be. Right right at the point where that, that uh, those seams meet and then I need to sew here. So that way I know that I am in the right place. And just sew along that line that you've drawn. And I will do that with each four corners and we'll come back, all right? Okay, so now you've seen I've sewn this. I've took it to the sewing machine and I've sewn it. Now you're gonna to want to cut this off, but I always do this because inevitably that's, there's the one time that I don't do it that I will have 
done this wrong. So I turn it inside out before I do any cutting because once you cut that seam and you've done it wrong, you're just gonna have to cut this up for scraps. It's, it's just not gonna, you're not gonna be very happy. So we turn this inside out and then lay it out. And it looks like I did it right this time. So, so now, now that I know that I've done it right, I will actually take and bring each piece out and trim the seam. And do that with each one of the corners. And then once you have that done, pinch out the sides. And then see how really nice and flat it looks. Now this right here, you're going to want to, as you press it, press this in and then what I like to do is then take what you're going to need to do at this point once you this is all nicely pressed out and you have all the all the, the uh, corners well you're going to actually take to your machine and do a top stitch around here so that you'll then close this gap down and sometimes if you can do a top stitch you can do a um, fun little decorative stitch on here that would be really fun to do and uh, you can have fun with how you finish off this and use one of those fun fancy stitches that you have on your machine that you didn't think you'd ever use so that's and that's your self binding blanket and if you have any questions I'm always at the store almost <laughs> you can come and talk to me and and uh, I can help you out with it so thanks for watching appreciate it